What's up everyone, it's Dan here at Vivid Racing and if you are just watching this right now, you're perfect timing because we're going to show you how to get more horsepower, more boost and beat all your other friends at the dunes with the new 2018 Can-Am X3. <laughs> The 2018 Can-Am X3 comes with 172 horsepower. This is up from the 17 which had 154 horsepower. Now guys with the 17 can get the Can-Am upgrade which includes a new flash, fuel pump, intercooler and that will get you to 172. But you still want to be able to kick your buddy's butt on the trails, at the dunes and everywhere else. So what we're doing here today at Vivid Racing is we're tuning this 18 X3 with our VR Tune software. All of our flashing is done through the diagnostic port with our easy to use iFlash system. We write the full file to the car, makes all the changes. Increases boosts, changes fuel, changes timing, torque limiters, speed limiters, everything you can possibly think of is written into these performance files. Now, what we've done for some of our tests is also see how the car reacts with the different exhaust system. Now, you can do a cat delete, you can do just a muffler change, you can do a cat delete and a muffler change. So genuinely it's good to see you know, the different results you get when you're interchanging these components. Ultimately, what we do with VR Tune is give you the best file the first time. Why is that? Because with proper tuning you don't need to have stage flashes. You get one file, you put it in the car, it will adjust. If you add an exhaust system, it'll easily adjust. If you add a new air filter, it'll easily adjust. If you add an intercooler, it will adjust. There's no reason to pay big dollars for these stage flashes. We give you the stage and you get the best performance. Our Can-Am X3 here that we're testing on is the 2018 and we've had a solid baseline run and some really good tests and tune runs. So we're gonna show you how that works out with this aftermarket cat delete system so you can hear it, see the power gains and understand how and why we do the tuning the way we do. So let's check out how it runs now on the dyno. When we run a car on our Mustang dyno, uh, we typically see about a 25% drivetrain loss. If stock's 172, our baseline's right around 130, 132. We do these tests based on mile per hour. So our start test is roughly uh, 12 miles per hour and our stop test is 75. You know, we could run the test as high as it goes, but this is just a good safe section to do. So we're gonna go ahead and put it into high and uh, start our test and we'll trigger it here and see how it goes. Let's show you what we got here on the computer screen. We first started out with the baseline test on a 100% stock vehicle. Our Mustang Dyno, 91 octane, maybe about 85 degrees here in the room. We had 131 and change peak horsepower number. That's this dotted line here. That's roughly 25% drivetrain loss, which is what we usually see of these CVT transmission vehicles. The next test we have is with our tune, completely stock exhaust, no changes, the only difference being the tune. Same gas, same dyno settings, everything. We actually have a peak here of 143.9, so 144 wheel horsepower. So with just our flash, we're gaining 12 peak horsepower. Now, this is pretty consistent throughout the entire power curve, which is really good. So whether you punch it or you're up top in the RPMs in the mile per hour, you have that gain. Our final test, so we can see if there was a difference between putting the exhaust on and not with boost pressure and power, is running with a cat delete, no muffler exhaust. It's just a straight out wide open exhaust system. Similar to what our agency power dump valve exhaust does. So you can see the solid line here is that system. Now, boost pressure re remained the same. We had a peak boost at the very start of about 16 PSI. 
Much like the previous where it's just the tune only, the exhaust didn't affect the boost pressure. So they both maintain about a 15.8, 15.9, 16 PSI, which is roughly two PSI more than stock. And you can see that from this line down here. If we look at the large areas of the curve, we have 130 and about 145. That's 15 wheel horsepower gain. So we have a very strong, consistent gain in our tune. There you have it. We're all done. 2018 Can-Am X3 ECU. It's done. It's ready for you and your car. No need for a stage one, two, three. This is the best flash the first time. You'll smoke your buddies on the trail. You'll smoke them in the sand. You will have the best 18X3 out there with the VR tuned ECU flash. If you have the 17 with the 18 upgrade, this is for you. Easy to do yourself. Load it through the diagnostic port. You'll find instant power, safe, reliable. If you have questions, drop us a comment, give us a call. You can order yours at vividracing.com vividracingutv.com and we appreciate your business. Let's see what else is going on soon on our next videos and we'll see you at the next one.